Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 2 of our new Let's Play Out of the Park 18 with the Kansas City Royals. It's episode 2 of the 1978 season. Um, I had a recording issue uh, last episode, so that one got scrapped. We finished up spring training, which is okay. Uh, let's see, we should be, oh, here we go, spring coverage, there we go. So we finished up 18 and 12, just one game out. Uh, Preseason predictions, they've got us coming in last. And they may know something because our owner downgraded his request to playing 500 ball this year. So just a winning record. Um wants us to improve our home run totals, wants to increase attendance and build a championship team by 81. Uh, now, if we take a look at our team, team history, no, oh, we did not win the World Series last, did we? Hmm. We made the World Series. No, I think we must have, we lost. We lost uh, in, in fact, I think we got swept. But we made the World Series, which was not even expected. So three years in a row to the playoffs, two years in a row to the World Series, and uh, one championship in there. Uh, nobody's numbers retired yet. So let's just kind of get caught up. We've cleared out our roster uh, here is who we've decided to go with. Tom Bruno is going to break in this year. He had a late season call up last year. Jack Morris is going to make a return to the bigs this year. And uh, Split Orf will be in the bullpen. We had to move a couple of pitchers down. And then we actually made a couple of moves. We'll go in and look at those here in a second. But here is our... Hal McRae, Amos Otis, Willie Wilson, Brett Burleson, Staggs, Dan Dreesen around the horn, Rick Dempsey behind the plate. Uh, our last roster spot, we called up Jamie Quirk to be our catcher. He can also fill in at short and whatnot if he needs to. Now, the big name here is Steve Staggs. He has not played well for us since 75. He's been a part-time player. Uh, and, you know, that was really his only good year. So, what happened there? Well, if we go to our transaction log, let's see, right here, Lee Lacey got traded for Bernie Carbo. Worst trade I've ever made. Carbo's not a bad player. What happened was, during spring training and the offseason, I got like seven offers that were all for Lee May, my first baseman, backup, and uh, Jack Morris, my pitcher. All seven, you know, like seven or eight trade offers for those two guys. One of them was from Minnesota for Bernie Carbo. I rejected them all. Some of them I tried to work out another deal, uh, not including Morris, and it just didn't work out. Well, this one popped up, and it I, all I saw was Carbo and Lee, and I meet, and I said, oh, they took Morris off, but they're happy to get Lee May. No problem. Let's make the deal. Boom, made the deal. And then all of a sudden I went to my roster to put Carbo up, and I noticed I had a vacancy at my starting second baseman position with Lee Lacey, who exercised his right to free agency this past offseason, and I re-signed him for three more years to be my starting second baseman at the age of 29. So, yeah. <laughs> Not very happy with that. Uh, after that, we called up... Uh, Called up a bunch of guys to uh, spring training. Had some guys get hurt. Sent down a lot of guys after spring training. I, because it looks like I went one day too far, 
uh, I had to these guys started kicking in with major league experience even though the season wasn't officially underway and I had to waive a couple of players designate them for assignment I released Fran Healy outright uh, and I made the hard decision last episode that disappeared because of the problems to uh, release Hank Aaron so we got him two more home runs he hit 318 in uh, 44 at bats two homers 10 RBIs um, he just wasn't in the depth chart we don't have the DH turned on um, he's lost some power and contact I just couldn't find a way to keep him on the roster and it broke my heart but I had to make the decision for the team uh, John Wathen Mallory got sent down so that was what happened in the missing video now but that brings us to opening day so let's see I'm trying to get something to work on my apps here but I don't know what is the problem Oh well, we'll just figure it out. I'm hoping this works because I'm ha I had to buy a new iPad. My other iPad was stolen, so I was not very happy with that. Uh, let's see, calculator. There's Bear with me here a minute because I need to get this working for work. Not sure why none of that's working but oh well let's get on with it I'm sorry that's just distracting me and <laughs> it's uh, because my iPad was stolen I'm just very frustrated right now uh, trying to get that back up and working for work um, all right let's see so we are at opening day uh, let's see why are we going with Gidry and not Dutch yeah let's go ahead and move back up to number one he should be fine. Yeah, he hasn't pitched in over a week. Well, about a week. So we should be good there. All right, well, let's get underway. We're going to go ahead and play a week. And Burleson, four days. Ah, Moderate running, but no influence on hitting or throwing. So play through the pain, man. Play through the pain. <laughs> you can do it personal message Baltimore claims Mark Wiley not happy with that George Throop has claimed uh, him and Milwaukee has claimed Mark Wiley season is done for Ralph Gar all right well I was hoping to get those guys through but they were you know they were all expendable all right Wiley gets executed by the Brewers. Throop goes to the Padres. Fabulous. Just whatever. And a bruised collarbone. So Burleson is now out for two weeks. So we're going to put him on the disabled list. I do not have anybody to 
play, well, Gates is there. First, second, third, short. I guess Dillard could be, we'll call him up. We'll call Dillard up. We'll see what that does to our look. All right, so Gates will move into there. Dillard, Dreesen, Quirk. All right, that gets that fixed. Still need to finish the first week of the season. Oh, my God. Well, I tell you what, it looks like it might be that kind of season. So Rick Dempsey goes down. He's day-to-day -day for four weeks. Minimal hitting, minimal running. I think I'd probably be better off putting him on the DL. All right, let me put him on the DL for 15 days. And then... Catcher. All right, we'll bring up, well, do I want maybe Gustafson here? He's got a good eye. All right, we'll bring him up. Go back into our depth charts. All right, that's going to put Quirk in at starting. And I need to redo that. Ross Grimsley tossed a shutout. That's great. We're not even through the first week, and Burleson's been hurt twice. And now my starting catcher's out for a couple of weeks. Incredible. All right, Vita Blue gets the win. AL Player of the Week's Vita Blue. Al Oliver, the Pirates, National League. Kansas City, we are actually right at the top of the uh, power ranking, so that bodes well, being that I have no idea. Hank Aaron does is the record holder for home runs over Babe Ruth. And let's go into our schedule. All right, so we picked up a 4-1 win over the Angels in o our opening day game. Leonard got the win, Suter the save, split off with two and a third in relief. Leonard, Leonard hit a home run in his own behalf. So he, the first home run of the 78 season goes to our starting pitcher. That's incredible. Burleson had a double and a triple before he was injured running the bases. Then we pick up a 7-4 win. Guidry, McClure, oh shoot. Um, strategy, yes. I need to take off the pitch count, please. Go to normal, yeah, and didn't I say I had to do that? And I forgot anyway. Incredible. All right, so that cost Gidry an outing, it looks like. Probably the win. Oh, well. We'll break everybody in slow. All right, then we took a 3-2 loss in the final game. Morris... Morris with the shutout going again. He got yanked on pitches. Yeah, that's going to screw us up all this week. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get through it. Bruno took a loss in his first game. Then we came back and Bird got the win after Herbowski came in in relief. Gidry finally got the win. And Morris got pulled early. Lee May hit a home run. All right, so taking a look. Pitching's doing pretty well with everything that we just screwed up there. Uh, let's see. 
So Steve Staggs hitting 381 out of the gate, so he's off to a good start to the season. Brett Burleson Dreesen with one homer each, as does Dutch Leonard. And Morris. Morris actually with a really good ERA. I wonder. Let's go to uh, AAA schedule. Okay, they start on the 11th. Okay, good. I was not seeing any stats, so I was a little concerned. All right. I'm, I'm going to wait till the end of the month to move anybody. We'll go another week now that we've worked out our kinks there. All right, cleared waivers, designated for assignment. You guys will be down. All right, Wolford. All right, so Milner is refusing. He can play first and left. Thing is, I don't need anybody out there. Because now I've got Carbo. Of course, Carbo's not doing well. Alright, well, let's do that. God dog it. He's good enough that I don't want to mess with the... Uh, I don't want to lose him for nothing. All right, that puts Milner in. Henderson slides over to center now. If Otis gets tired. All right, that works. We're still only at Thursday, so let's finish out the week. Ron Guidry, food poisoning. Sweet. It's that kind of year I can already tell. All right, Rick Roden, Frank Tanana, Ryan gets a shutout. He's pitching with the Dodgers now, of course, after last year. Matt Keogh fizzle, sizzles and Kansas City fizzles. Great week for George Brett, 24-year-old. Four homers, nine RBIs for the week. Excellent. And we are down just slightly, but still number three in the power rankings. All right, so we win a three-game series with uh, the White Sox and then take two out of three from Oakland. I'm not sure how that's a down week. The other teams must have been hella hot. All right, Bruno... Now, we had already fixed our George Brett, his second, Dillard, his first homer. I thought we had fixed our uh, pitch count thing there. Leonard goes seven, Bird, Littell, Brett with two homers, Stags his first homer. 5 nothing, Gidry. All right, what's the deal here? Um, game strategy. Okay, we don't have any pitch count. All right, I need to... All right, hold on. All right. So I've got, he was set to a really quick hook. I don't know why. All right, let's do this. I'm going to have to go through individually now, I guess. Set game strategy. All right, no, he's fine. Bruno's there. All right, so those, I don't know why I had Gidry set faster, unless that was a carryover from last year. He may have been hurt in uh, in the postseason, and I may have, I think I used him in the last game now that I'm thinking about it, but I put him on a quick hook 
just in case. I don't remember. Don't remember. But we win that series. Then we win 8-2. to two. Littell gets the win. A 5 nothing loss. Bruno last three innings. And then a 4 nothing win. Leonard goes six and a third, one hit ball. See, I'm wondering why he came out. I mean, it's only 67 pitches. So I think I need to go in and check that again. Strategy. I have it set to normal. I'm going to make that slow. I'm going to go Saber Metric and see if that does anything for us. Although that did put in pitcher uh, pitch counts there. All right, well, we'll give that a shot, see what it does. All right, so right now we are uh, number one in runs against, number two in starter ERA and bullpen ERA, number three in defense, number one in homers, three in stolen bases, 11th in on base, 11th in average, fifth in runs scored. We are 10 and three, only a one game lead though. California very hot. Let's take a look at the expanded standings. Well, this is fine. No, yeah, that's good. All right, so we're eight and two. California's eight and two. Eight and two. Cubs are riding a four-game win streak, an eight-game win streak for the Reds. It's pretty impressive. Brett with five homers, 13 RBIs. 1.4 war, three wins for Leonard. All right, well, let's get back to another week. Rick Burleson can come off of the DL. Good. All right. Who do I want him to replace, though? Dempsey's got one to two weeks left. Uh, I can't move Quirk. Steve Dillard? He's hitting 250. He's not horrible. Milner is hitting a buck 43 with a solo homer. Yeah, let's demote him to triple A. That's going to bring Burleson back up. That is going to put Burleson back in here. All right. Uh, we need a couple more days to finish out the week. Jack Morris, three days, that's okay. Finish out the week. All right. Not a good week. Eight, eight, seven win. Split Orf does not last long. Why was he pitching? Okay, he's long relief. I don't know why he got the spot start, but he did. A 3-1 loss. Morris, now see, nope, Morris now goes 9, so at least we've got that working again. Don't like the way it's produced, but it's working again. <laughs> All right, a loss, another loss to Oakland. We finally get a one nothing loss. That's Gidry with a 3-hit shutout.
Morris gets the win. And another win. Good. That's Bruno got the no decision. All right, Bruno's struggling a little bit. All right, I want to go back to... Um, strategy, there we go. All right, I want to go to... Moderate Saber metric, and eh. Hit and run, steal a little bit more, not not a ton. All right, we'll give that a try. Yeah, ERAs are down drastically after that week. But we are 14-6. and six. We're two and a half up on the White Sox. Six homers for Brett, three for McRae, three for Dreesen. 3-1 and one for Leonard, 2-0 and oh for Guidry. Bruno's struggling. Bullpen's looking okay with the exception of Splitorf. All right. Uh, Jack Morris, we knew about that. Seavers, 33, and his 200th victory. Dan Dreesen got player of the week. Three homers, 13 RBIs. Moved back up to second in the power rankings. Well, they had some cool names. Mordecai Brown and Addie Joss way back in the day. Smokey Joe Wood. That's what baseball's missing these days. Good nicknames and players that relate to the fans. All right, we're going to go one more week. So we're going to go up to the next month. Personal message. All right, Rick Dempsey is still hurt. Well, we are not playing him, so he's he's on the DL, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he's on the DL. Uncertain of his return, so we'll leave him on the DL. We don't want him playing. The cycle for Carl Pagel from the Mets. Five hits for Mickey Rivers, Thurman Munson, all right, May 1st, so we are at Monday, there we go, all right, Tommy John, a shutout, Carlton a shutout, McRae with five hits. Enos Cabell, Player of the Week. Chicago's J.R. Richard, Player of the Month for the AL. And Gary Redis, Rookie of the Month for the AL. Bob Horner. So both of those guys make their debuts this season. And we are down to number four. The White Sox have jumped over us, so I'm guessing we had a pretty rough week to end April. Two and one against Texas and one and two against Cleveland. So yeah, not uh, not a really good finish. Leonard gets to four and one. Otis with his first homer of the season. Morris got the win. Suter his fifth save. Willie Wilson with his first homer. And a 14 to two win. Gidry goes to three and one. Quirk with his first homer, McRae his fourth homer. All right. Well, nothing horrible there. If we look at the standings, we are tied with the White Sox who are on a six game win streak. We still had a win and I'm happy with a 17 and nine month. I think if you can go 17 to 9 every month, you'll probably be somewhere close on the. Sorry about that. Somewhere close on the leaderboards in the standings category. George Brett, six homers, but he's not hitting well. What is he hitting? Well, 306, but certainly not uh, enough to be up there at the top. 
a 1.9 war, second only to Jeff Burrows, and Dennis Leonard, 1.5 war. Bullpen settled down, starters are coming back into form, and honestly, it's Bruno that's dragging that down. Uh, so, you know, speaking of, how are some of our arms doing over here? 2-1 and one with a 304, 1-1 one and one with a 2.3, 2-1 one with a 4 and a half. Quisenberry, 2 with a 0, that's good. Mike Larkin, four saves with a zero. Carl DeLue. John Wathen. At 28, he can't cut it. I'm going to go ahead and release him. Pedro Rabas is hitting 217 and it wants me to call him up. Sheldon Mallory. He just can't get it done at the big leagues. I'm going to let him go free agent at the end of this season just to drop that salary. Dempsey still not doing well. Rick Anderson, where is, there he is, Steve Sachs hitting 305 to start off his minor league career. All right, guys, well, that uh, finishes out our first month, so let's go ahead and put a cut in there, and thanks for checking out the video. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.